No matter how picturesque the setting or how much care and attention has been given to green fields across the land, blights such as leather jacket, the larvae of crane fly, have threatened to decimate sporting locations. Bionema have tested, developed and proven the Nema Trident biological solution. Leather jackets, um, they're a huge, huge problem. And um, the problem has really stemmed from probably four years ago when Clipperfoss was taken off the market. Um, that was a product that we could easily reach for the shelf, take a bottle and it would solve the problem. We cannot rely on chemicals anymore. Especially this year, crane fly has been in abundance. We're seeing swarms and swarms of crane fly. It could severely hinder playing conditions and if not, completely wipe out a golf course. We found Bionema. Um, Dr Minshad has now been on site since um, last March, um, doing lots and lots of recordings and research and um, we've decided to go down for nematodes. So we've received the, um, the nematodes in a cool pack. Um, so now they need to be mixed rigorously in 10 litres of water, if not more. And it's very important if you look inside the packet, we get a lot of residue left in the packet. So it's very important to rinse these out. So all nematodes that have been delivered will actually go onto the golf course. Each pack does come with the directions for use. Um, it, talk you through the process which is relatively simple. We're going to be using 750 litres of water um, sprayed at 3 bar um, with 08 XE air inject nozzles. So we're looking to treat just under a hectare approaches today. Um, so there's going to be 5 billion nematodes put down into applications. Um, so this first application today there'll be 2.5 billion nematodes applied to the golf course. We're just decanting the mixed nematodes into the sprayer um, we need to get them thoroughly mixed before they go into the sprayer. All the nematodes are now in the sprayer. Um, the agitation's on. It's very important to keep the agitation going through the whole process. Um, I guess a key thing for me is actually knowing that the nematodes in that tank are alive. Um, so a simple test is hold up to the lights. Um, even with the naked eye, you can see all the nematodes in there. Should you have a microscope or a magnifying glass on site, you would 100% see them, but just with my naked eye, I can see the nematodes in there. So I'm happy that they're good. Um, got another test further on is actually test when they come out of the sprayer at three bar, that they're still alive. Um, so that's why the microscope is on site today, just to check that. So this is the um, Nema spreader. Um, it's a penetrant wetting agent um, designed by Bionema, um, basically so we know it doesn't harm the nematodes. Um, what we're trying to achieve is get penetration into the soil. Um, although we have got 40% moisture today, we've had um, 28 mm of rain in the last 24 hours. So basically the, the nematodes need a film of water around it better move through the profile very easily. Um, so this is just helping them move the profile to attract, the, to attract their prey. Okay, so the fit has been taken out of there um, purely for the fact just to, um, the nematodes may not be able to penetrate through the filter. Um, so it just makes sure that everything we do in this process is to make sure that all the nematodes in the tank are applied to the soil where they need to be. All approaches and areas that we're going to apply the nematodes to have been solid timed. Um, it's very, very important to give the nematodes the best chance and the easiest chance to get down to where is loosely known as the grub zone, to where we needed nematodes to be to attack the larvae. The last step is the spraying process and a natural cycle for the nematodes to get to work. It's worked fantastic. Um, it's been very surprising. Um, I didn't think we would get the results we did. Um, but when Minch had come in to, to almost sell the product to me, um, I was still very skeptical, but the results have spoke for themselves. This time last year, we were hitting numbers around about 30 per 20 square centimetres. This year we're hitting zero. Um, some areas we're finding one or two, so broad parts of spectrum are hitting 85 to 90% control. If you come this time last year, um, you would have seen probably grass composition suffered by 80%. Um, but as you can see now, we've got good composition back now. And the most pleasing thing for me is the roots. We've got such good, the roots are probably increased by 80%. Um, so that's the secondary benefit of reducing the leather jackets, is obviously the, the roots and the grass composition dramatically improve. I think it's very important to have a tri-component system where you have a nematodes, which is basically designed for leather jacket or any other pest. The second thing is a nema spreader, which is a, a wetting agent, which actually helps nematode to move 
uh, fast and uh, and kill the leather jacket quickly. And the third one is a training and uh, advice. Even I'm from industry, I haven't seen 90-80% control for the leather jacket. They are very tough cookies.